you want to repeat this process over and over and over. But what you really want to do is you want to go as fast as you can without a capacitor for the simple fact is you want to put a lot of this radiant energy to the source. I was looking at this uh, uh, double pole switching setup on a single battery. And some concerns arose. And I thought about it and I said, do I need to test this out? Or did I already do that? Because I don't want to go replicating something to test something out. Just because I had a concern. If I already did test it out in another, in another system. So the concern was, um, of course you close both the switches and energize the coil when, when you close them together with a double pull, double throw relay. Coil gets energized with a plus on this end, a minus on this end. Then you open up the switches, and the plus turns to a minus, the minus turns to a plus, the coil flies back. And it flies back, the minus goes this way, and the plus goes this way. The concern was, are these two switches going to open fast enough to prevent, to prevent, uh, for example, this minus flyback, if that switch doesn't open fast enough, the minus can reach over here. And if it does, the plus flyback will cancel the flyback by reaching over to here. Um, this will cancel the flyback if, per se, one of these two switches on the double pole, double throw relay is not opening fast enough. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that's a valid concern. Do I need to test out this concern and replicate it and verify it? Thankfully, no. I'm going to play a video that shows you that this is not happening and that the switch is opening up fast enough. And it's not a concern at all. A video where I did test this out, this very system here. Let me one second to present it. I'm going to play that video in just a second. And you'll see that there's only, there's not only is there no concern in the uh, in that happening, but there's actually a voltage rise, which confirms that the flyback is not getting canceled, and it's actually be being received across the bat across the battery terminal. So the starting battery voltage here was 12.42 volts and I turned it on already and it's pretty much wired up the same way with double fold, double throw switching. If one of the switches did not open up fast enough, the flyback would cancel. You would not see a voltage rise as you see here. So that's the purpose of this brief interruption to, to clarify that concern is not a concern
So no need for me to replicate this to verify if the switch is opening up quick enough. I apparently I already did it in this video. It just didn't occur to me at the time that the concern arose.